um, when we first brought it up, remember? We first brought it up. We're sitting, and we're sitting in my office, and I go, all right, all right, Emmanuel, um, Zionism. We can talk about that. And he goes, ooh. Do we have to talk he about goes, that? Do we have to talk about that? And I'm like, do you know what that word means? He's like, well, I kind of, but like, and I'm like, but do you have a bad feeling about it, right? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, we have to talk about it. That's why we have to talk about it. So it's so crucial for me because the word Zionism was hijacked and taken away from us. And in the same manner that I am reclaiming a Jew, uncomfortable conversation with a Jew, you have a Jew and it's great. There's nothing wrong with being a Jew. In the same way, we have to reclaim the word Zionism. It was taken, taken away from us. And I'm not backing down. I know a lot of people are like, maybe we should stop using that word and start using Jew hatred. I'm like, no. So speaking of hard chapters, <laughs> um, let's, I, I think Zionism was the chapter that you both said for different reasons was the hardest chapter to write. Um, and that word, I mean, is just, I think as a Zionist is hard because it's been hijacked so often to mean all sorts of crazy things. But um, I want, I would love to hear from you actually what your perception of the word was and how it evolved through the process. And from you, obviously I love when you just explain what it is and then you're like, congratulations, you're a Zionist. It's the best trick. And then, um, you know, how you explain it as the new brand of anti-Semitism. Man, that, um, that chapter was heavy. Good. That chapter took years off of my life in large part because it was chapters. I literally would call Noah one time and I said, Hey, the Zionism chapters are 24% of the book. We got to get it down to 19%. I was like, it's just too much. I was like, it's just too much. It's just, it's too much. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. And she was like, okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Um, the, the, the reason that chapter was so hard for me and the conversation was so hard for me because Zionism, the word, is followed by so much vitriol. I remember Noah being on Berkeley's campus. There's a video she posts on Instagram. One of the first videos I saw, it's a year, year and a half ago. And these students are cursing her out. You were the dumbest mother ever I've ever seen you were the dumbest and I was like goodness I was like I was hurting and so I was like I don't even want I don't even want to touch it I don't it's, it's so scary to me it's so like there's so much pain and anger there I don't even want to touch it because while Noah has this beautifully simple definition of it there's so many definitions that have been hijacked and manipulated and and so now if you say it what do you mean when you say it and people are just waiting to catch you. Oh, you said you're Zionist. And, and, and there's a story I'll share. Should I share it now? Yeah, sure. We can, yeah, 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 definitely. Um, That's a, so yeah. full circle moment. The most scared I've been during this whole process. I don't really, what am I going to be scared for? I played in the NFL. But the most scared I've been during this whole process was three weeks ago. I'm leaving dinner. I'm by myself. And I am in North Hollywood, a place called Leona's. Yeah. So I'm leaving dinner. And I'm walking. And I'm, I got to stand up to give you all the full demonstration. Again, last stop on the tour. Y'all are getting everything. So I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving. We'll be here all night, guys. All I'm, night. I'm leaving dinner. And I hear these people saying something by me. As I walk by, I want to address them. Maybe it's, uh, hey, thanks for everything you do. Or maybe it's like, hey, I disagree with your sports take. So I stop. I look. And the woman looks me in my eyes with a passion and she says, I hope they paid you well. So now I look at her and I say, I put my hands in my pocket, I lean in, I go, who is they? She says, you know who they are. Who is they? You know who they are. At this point, you stop me. So we are gonna get to the bottom of this. Who is they? Zionists. So now I look and I say, I, I pursue love, I pursue peace, I pursue unity. I try to diffuse the situation. It's four on one. Just me, them four. I'm in public, I can't get in trouble, got too much to lose. So I say, I say, um, what's your name? You don't deserve my name. God bless, you have a good evening. Um, I say that to say, and this is a transparent and vulnerable moment. I got in my car that day. I, I drive like an all-black Lexus. The windows are tinted. They're so tinted, I can't see out. So I, <laughs> so I know you can't see in. But as I'm driving, that was the first time I got in my car and I said, if she was that 
brave, if she was that bold, if she was that aggressive, would she T-bone me into, into, in traffic? Would she push me into the intersection? And then I had a moment, I said, imagine if I was Noah. Because I'm 6'2", 235 pounds. I have no reason to be afraid. And even I, for that moment, was cautious. That was the first moment I feel like I felt how many of you in this room have felt since October 7th. Just navigating life cautiously. Um, so all that to say, and I wrap on that note, is the word Zionism, it just, it, it's just like, oh God, Zionism, <laughs> duck. Um, so that, that was my interpretation of it all. So first of all, apparently you don't need to be Jewish to suffer an anti-Semitic attack <laughs> in the middle of Hollywood. Hey, surprising. That's number one. Number two, what a, it was a beautiful moment that we were able to use it and say, do you see what we mean? So that woman, to her, the sheer fact that Emmanuel thinks that Israel should exist, that's it. That means the, the must be that the Jews are paying him, of course, right? And that connection is something that was very uh, important for me to make. Now, to go back to the Zionism, that was one of my favorite moments as well. First of all, he's 100% right. I wanted to talk about Zionism half of the book. I was like, we have to talk about the words and everything, blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> but also... Um, when we first brought it up, remember? We first brought it up. We're sitting and we're sitting in my office and I go, all right, all right, Emmanuel, um, Zionism. We're gonna talk about that. And he goes, ooh. Do we have to talk he about goes, that? Do we have to talk about that? And I'm like, do you know what that word means? He's like, well, I kind of, but like, and I'm like, but you have a bad feeling about it, right? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, we have to talk about it. That's why we have to talk about it. So it's so crucial for me because the word Zionism was hijacked and taken away from us. And in the same manner that I am reclaiming a Jew, uncomfortable conversation with a Jew, you have a Jew and it's great. There's nothing wrong with being a Jew. In the same way, we have to reclaim the word Zionism. It was taken, taken away from us. And I'm not backing down. I know a lot of people are like, maybe we should stop using that word and start using Jew hatred. I'm like, no, <laughs> no. To me, no, it's our word, it was invented for us and we're keeping it. <laughs> um, obviously, Zionism is Israel's right to exist. Zionism is the Jewish people's right in a little bit more elaborated way. The Jewish people's right for self-governance and self-determination in some parts of their ancestral land and the Jewish, not an exclusively Jewish state, which is a very important point to make because people have taken the word Zionism to mean that it's racism, that it's imperialism, that it necessitates the genocide of Palestinians, like literally. And it's a crazy concept because, I mean, our president is a self-described Zionist. There's nothing, Zionism is one of the most progressive movements in the world, one of the most successful land back movement, indigenous movements. Zionism was literally designed to progress Jews, progress us from, persecution, discrimination, the carry occasional pogrom and Holocaust, no big deal, to self-governance and self-determination and our ancestral land. And we need to own it, claim it, stick our heels in the ground and understand that we have every, every, every right to have a state, every right. And Emmanuel also thinks that. <laughs> but he's like, the, the word Zionist, let's just not talk, does Israel have the right to exist? Yeah, sure. But like, you know, but it's, but it's a big word. 